Hello and welcome back to my recording of um, the Outer, of Outer Wilds, which has been an amazing game. And we're back. I actually died because um, I flew into the sun, so I, and I had some technical issues. So I had to restart the recording. Didn't miss much, just me flying into the sun backwards. Didn't even look cool. So. And I found out that we pretty much found everything at Mask Island. And I decided to go to the Ember Twin next because um, we're still missing some stuff from there. From the campsite of the dude. Oh no, 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 no. That's close. Oh, this is Ash Twin. No, this is. Oh, yeah, the, all of the. Okay, so I need to. All of the sand is an Ash Twin, is what I was trying to say. I always started saying sentences and then I. My brain is somewhere else. Okay, anyways. I'm gonna go look this thing but no first of all I'm gonna look down here because I still I'm still missing something from this cave I think or the cave at the very bottom don't know though oh god okay I think the first thing I'll do is go to the very bottom Oh, we're already. There's already some sand being filled in. Fortunately. Where's my flashlight? Okay, so I believe I shouldn't run into that. So I don't know if I can avoid it at this point. Okay, no, I don't think I'm missing anything down there. It's just like. Um, don't know if that's gonna kill me. Right. Just gotta go around the outside. Yeah, that's gonna. That's not good. Please go away. Okay, so the question is how do I get out of here without having to wait until it fills up? Hmm. So I've made a terrible mistake. I'm probably gonna die on the next pass, so I need to get away from that thing. Oh yeah, I can actually get out of... Oops, no, 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 no. Land. Okay, I need to get back to the ship a little quickly to heal and get some more fuel. But I think I'm on the right path. I don't know if I've ever... Um, I've ever explored that cave fully, so... I would imagine that the gravity rises as the thing fills up more, because there's more sand. Still haven't heard anything about the interloper, so... I'm very interested in what that's all about. Okay, so I guess I have a little bit more time and I can check this guy's campsite out because there's something that I missed at his campsite. Oh, there's a... Goodness, it's you, hello. Uh, I take it your first launch went well then? Welcome to the Hourglass twin. uh, Twins. Mind the sand now. I have a question for you. I found something. I found your notes about Ad Adelrock's main crater. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid, or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant steep. It's hard to say. Um, it used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. 
You'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now. In its place is Dark Bramble, which to which how to put this grew into the uh, space of the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Some of the shards collided with the celestial bodies of our solar system, such such as Adelrock, which I Adel Adelrock, which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed. Um, how do I know if I've spotted a supernova? Supernovae look like a, an extra bright star to the naked eye. But if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realized. Mm. What are you doing out here? Right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfels noticed our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. Or maybe don't tell Hornfels either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. Um, where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite uh, good at the with the little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. We've seen the old shipwreck site on the Ambercorn Southern Hemisphere, the one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky. It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's a Nomai ship. We'll find Nomai ruins across the Twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd have seen it. It's my little scout. So where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. The Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. Um, how dangerous is the big column of falling sand? On a scale of 1 to that, I'd give it a 7 or 8. Awful, pre awfully pretty though. Right now, the sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Amber Twin. But did you know, the process even eventually reverses. Um, we're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like, uh, if you'd like to see something interesting, Check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Okay. Um, what are you up to? Hornfels asked me to update a star charge, so I'm out here observing. This, one, uh, this is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical anomalies, uh, astronomical events, you know. Uh, what's weird is. Uh, uh, what's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or two on the stars and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Okay. Oh, I need to do more of that. Uh, I found my writing about the quantum moon. Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder, uh, wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, there is, uh, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at these star charts. Uh, very interesting. Um, okay, so I think we've got everything here. Uh, 
that means I also the next thing I wanted to check out was this cave and I still have a little bit more time don't I you just jump over to the other side because that's where the scientist disappeared I don't know if I'm I can jump down here yeah I should do that no, there's just cacti here. So. Just. Well, I can make it as well. That thing hits me. And let's see where this goes. Because I don't think I've ever been here. I don't know where that one, no, my scientist went. I don't really remember what he was doing here though, but he was observing. I don't know what his main function was. I know he was observing that one uh, rock that changes places, but. What exactly he was doing when he died and why he died or why he disappeared, we don't know. A lot of corridors here. They lead to my my stuff. That's the that's a crashed capsule. Uh, it's just speaking. part two that's the ship he meant I know no we need status report of all systems but initial things first is everyone unharmed Russ our escape pods passengers are afraid but physically well I know no everyone survived the crash um, this is a relief at least uh, you have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pods distress signals? Burr, I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Yeah, we found another one on Brittle Hollow. Alert, collision imminent, preparing for impact. Begin flight log. Escape pod 2. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Evading departure from vessel. Launching escape pod 3. Now launching escape pod 2. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. External temperature is prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet surface. Oh no. I don't want to do that. Oh, so they built a tunnel. Built a tunnel system here too. The heat from the star system sun is more bearable below the surface. Oh. When our escape pod punctures this planet surface, it broke into what scans show is a is a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site there to build a long-term shelter and no no but these passages are a maze even with this danger there's still our best chance for survival we'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site we can mark the, our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost cautious everyone Russ and be aware of the sand uh, as you search, it appears to be rising gradually. Okay, dokey. Emergency escape hatch. We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. 
I believe we could construct a long-term shelter there. Uh, I don't, I can't really search anymore because that thing is filling up and I will die shortly. So I think I'm gonna continue my search outside and hope I can still get outside because I've been brushed before in this game by the sand, which is not good. I'll read the remaining, I'll come back here on the next cycle and I'll read the remaining text. But those are gonna be all just directions. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so we saw... Um, don't know if I can uh what was I gonna say? Um so I saw one of these things all over on the other ash uh, on Ash Twin. And of course we have these teleporter things here. Should hopefully teleport us anywhere. I don't know if this side works at all, and I'm running out of oxygen, so I should just maybe not do that right now. Okay, so ouch. Note the store will need uh, to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on extraordinary findings of the White Hole Station. Wait, uh, um, Pi, Remy and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inco inconvenient, the lab currently uh, can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could get enormous, uh, could have e enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. Remy, an update. The high energy lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin project. If you're here to help or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City's path to the lab. Okie doke, then we need to get food there from below. This will probably say high energy lab, yes. Nice. Okay, so there is an equivalent tower on the other side. Don't need to launch the scout down there because I can just walk there next next cycle. Will probably tell us because of the corresponding antenna. Uh, it will probably just tell us what. Uh, what the antennas for. Okay, so I was running quite low. I'm gonna go to the ash twin and see if I can find anything cool there, but I've already been there once so I don't know if there's much left for me to discover. I also think I didn't find that much on the ash twin. Oops, that's not what I want. It's not what I want at all. Whatever. Uh, the ship will probably be teleported out, and so will I, apparently. I don't want that. I want to get back to this place and hopefully not die. No. Ow. Just a flesh wound. Okay, so... Um... Oh yeah. There are... Ow. 
So my ship is probably on the other planet now. That's fine. So this will teleport me, right? Or do I need to do something? Ooh, what's happening? Okay. Here's our first delivery, Yarrow. Uh, one warp core fresh from Black Hole Forge. Root is installing the core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. Uh, I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ashtwin project is underway. I confess, I'm deeply curious about what you and Pope found on the White Hole Station and what started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for Ashtwin project. So a visit to the station would uh, be doubly useful. I suppose, more precisely, I would like to visit Whitehall Station with you, Clary. Oh yeah, that's seen that before. So I pretty much stop flirting with my sister and explain my findings. Okay, seen that before. So I am should oh no, don't do that. Should be able to just teleport. Hopefully not into the sun. That would be bad. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, something's happening with the game. Oh god. I'm falling into the black hole, which is... Okay, and I'm also gonna die. <sighs> yeah, one wrong step and you're dead. That's unfortunate. 